Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Hunter Pulls the Wild. Uh, my name is Dizzy. Today we'll be doing our usual late night Call of the Wild stream and heading off to Medved Tiger. Where we have a variety of quests. Let's jump straight in. Because it is daylight. And we have what to do. So, quests that we have. Uh, here is the amount of the map I've unlocked. As you can see, it's pretty small. We are really only just starting right now. Uh, we have missions. We are looking for this guy Gunther, who... <clears throat> He's a bit of an idiot, let's be honest. He let all his food get eaten by bears. Then he walked off into a nice wilderness in the immediate aftermath of the blizzard, possibly in a blizzard. Then he shot a moose but didn't kill it. Uh, oh, speaking of moose. Uh, what else did he do? Oh yeah, now he's sick and he's kind of just staggering around in the world of Siberian wilderness. By any rights, he should die. Uh, luckily, we're on the case. Oh, we have a quest to harvest the moose. Let's go after that moose. Oh, things I have not done. Fix my kit. Oh, I'm good for most ammo. Yeah, I'm good for all my ammo. That's fine. Do I have both the ones you can get? Um, yeah, let's go after this moose. Let's go so. Blow my moose crawler. Oh, that's my boar crawler. Now, Call of the Wild has had. Uh. An update. Do I have to do anything for this other than ask? Just harvest the moose? Just harvest the moose and pass the harvest check. Fine. Uh, we also have Svetlana has a photography challenge for us. Which may be doing. Um, yes, Call of the Wilds had an update. So I attempted to stream this late last night. Discovered that not only did I have 29 gig of, of updates still to download, but also that. Uh, Attempting to download it destroyed my entire internet uh, in a way that was not particularly pretty. So last night's stream was a scrub. Is this the same moose or am I just hearing lots of different Is it going to be down on the, the river of blood again? It might well be. Ah. Oh, oh, okay, this is not good. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this little wheel. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. I can turn it into that mode. Ah, this set it, right. Bigger than something. Excellent. Right, let's see if we can bag here. What have we got over there? I think it was a bear. <coughs> oh, we are just surrounded by moose today. Oh, hello. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's too wise. He's definitely spotted me. <laughs> right, we're going to get this moose. Going to get it quick. Well, all the animals are out today. 
I've heard people complain that since the update they've had difficulty finding animals. Um, I definitely wouldn't describe that as my experience thus far. No, come back. Oh. Uh, so that was a nice moose harvest. Grab you. Double long. Very nice. Harvest check passed. Accept. Right. I'll have a new mission from you. Harvest a reindeer. Oh, we just missed one sadly. Heart double long. Silver. Very nice. And then uh, somewhere out here. Could be where we shot that other place. So I'm pretty sure did we go down? Maybe did we go down. I'm confident we hit it. Here's a blood splat. Vital organ here just now. Where did he go? He will be dead somewhere. Is that blood? That's blood. Okay. They can follow this trail. Uh Sadly must call wing there to prevent worse anthrax spread. Sure. Oh, I think we might be able to ID tracks from further away. That would be good if that's the case. He did a little loop, apparently. Um, okay, so this is a good start. Oh, I like this. It might become a pain later on. That kind of looks like a dead reindeer. Which is confusing. That really does look like a dead reindeer, doesn't it? Why would there be a dead reindeer here? Unless that's the moose? What? What? Maybe this is a bear feeding zone? Question mark? Um, oh, maybe this is the end of Gunther. Or the end of Gunther's track. Actually. We might be about to accidentally do a bit of vision. But in my defense, I did see this reindeer from miles and miles away. I couldn't really help it, could I? That looks like another bit of animal. I'm not really sure what's going on here.
There was just a straight up dead deer here. What? I mean, there's been a massacre. <laughs> what? What's going on? What are you guys doing here? Hello? <laughs> I can't investigate you or anything. Okay. That was a bit weird. <laughs> no, that's a lot. That was very weird. What? What? Cat, what's my apple that one? I mean, yeah. That's this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, ammo. Oh my reindeer. I know I was being very loud. Oops. Not you. Not you. I apologize for the noise. I know I've got to go back and find that moose body. I know. Okay, I know. But if the reindeer's here, I want to tag it now. Oh, we're not in the area. Never mind. <laughs> this is the fabled river of blood from a few streams ago, and this time it's a river of blood and it's not even my fault. So I consider that quite impressive. The game just knew that this was going to be the place where I murdered everything and did murder of its own. There was a bear running away from me, 400 meters away. I'm being very loud by running like this. meters to run. This is a very long way. I spotted those things from a very long way away. I wish I hadn't. Uh, this is good. Okay. Right. Okay, let's pick up the trail. Find where this dead moose is if the body hasn't despawned because of that one glitch that there used to be. Fingers crossed. Right, he's down to below 75% already, so hopefully it won't be too far. I think after this we'll go on a photography trip. Just to kind of get away from here, where all of our current hunting pressure is. It is 9.28 My objectives are search for Gunther and search for Gunther. <laughs> If we're lucky, maybe we'll be able to search for them while we search for them. Um, what goes this way? Oh, there's a rock. Yeah, some bear tracks. Right, 
less than half. Doing well. Give us some interesting rock formations. I never quite understood why Call of the Wild has such a problem with, with floating assets. Like I understand, like once you've got the problem, there's so many of them that's too much of a hassle to fix. You don't want to go around and check like every square meter of map to see if there's an asset floating off the ground. But uh why are they there in the first place? Is this the best cut to start? Is, isn't it? Although I could, I probably should go to the uh, lookout point first, where we really were before. That's fine, because I've, I've been most of that way already. So I can. Oh, there we go, long shot, not bad. White brown silver trophy. Let's head down here, because I've been to about here ish. A four on foot. So, oops. We will fast travel here yeah, and then quad bike some of the way and then get the rest of the way up to this lookout point on foot. Uh, we can also make sure we have enough ammo. What ammo will I carry? Uh, point forty four, right? Seven mil. Uh, arrows. Plenty of those. We're working on consuming these so we can use these. And. What is it? What's that noise? Oh, it's the fire. That's fine. I was just very confused. And all, we don't have. Uh, right. And right. Let's turn this all the way down for you guys, because this car gets pretty noisy. I've got the third person view. There's the train on our right that we found last time. The saddest image in all of Call of the Wild. Maybe I didn't get that far. Let's leave the car here. Let's leave the car here. Go for a little jog in the snow for now.
Because I don't remember if we actually really went, went that far past the train. <laughs> anyway, it's a pleasant enough walk. It's a lovely evening outside. It's a lovely evening in game. Well, it's a lovely morning in game. Our quest is called Scenic Weather. Let's hope there is some. Now, it isn't night time and uh, snowing when we get there. Because as lovely as it is being outside in the night, in the snow, one thing it's not good for is taking pictures. Oh, you guys want the sound back up. Oof, there we go. There are tracks. Possibly more bear tracks. Very old bear tracks. The age of the track, not the bear. Some of the things about Call of the Wild that always I found kind of interesting is there's no maybe it's just like deliberately never go during baby season, but there's never any juvenile animals or, or discussion of like the ethics around breeding season, etc. Snowing. The sky is almost yellow, which is odd considering that it's mid morning. Done with toss, topping up my uh, ranger and that as well. What I consider to be sort of my main weapon. Too late now though. Something discovered me. Christmas. They're probably the heavy one pass. Well they're not gonna be higher than the seven. And my current arrow is do seven. So they're probably not at the end pass. Can have the smell um the wind is now blowing due east, which is annoying. It's annoying for the next 200 meters, let's say. Let's not go off track chasing cats again. 
Ooh, a rest spot. That's a good thing to discover. Because the cats are very elusive. Apologise to any former eardrum owners for the blowing of that horrible caller. Thing about the eggs and things. It is extraordinarily well camouflaged. Um, and I might well miss it even if it were right again. On the other hand, occasionally you get a good shot like that. It's a pure luck. Who's that up there? It's a moose. I'll put on the big arrows just in case. I am not expecting. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, we did get the kill, which is it. I'm not expecting the keys to come back. Just in case they do, I'll be ready. This is where I last saw the cat. Oh, in this direction. Is this not the, the cat that I just shot? That I'm now tracking? What? That definitely looks like a cat body, doesn't it? That is definitely a dead cat. So who was I tracking? <laughs> um, right, uh, we did not get a vital organ hit sadly because of the shooting from behind. Oh my god. There. No, that's moose. No. Sounded like we were right next to it. We may have run off.
Okay, so. No, actually, I, I've gone quite a ways off the track, you know. And this tree is not as good cover as I expect. Oh, blimey. Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed by falling loose. List that as cause of death. Um. <laughs> wow. Wowzers. That hurt. That's like a quarter of my health. I do not think the other moose is going to be. That's okay. We got one. We do not need all of them. I don't even know a dead moose could help. Kitty cat call. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Attached to said call. Your head just poked up. I don't think you're going to be so foolish as to let me see the rest of your life. Even though I'd really like you to. is coming back. Well done. As I said, it might be the cats.
No, this is a musk tree design, okay. But we're finding all of the rest tanks today. Lost that kid cat. Okay. What's happening? Found a new mood zone. Uh, uh, here's um, uh, we'll give up on the I think we can live to yell yeah, with us another day. Something else. I'm getting all of the women Steam notifications today, telling me that this, that, and the other is playing whatever game. I thought that was a cat. Just a rock. I got very excited, briefly, and obviously. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to make it up this hill cliff thing? Do you reckon? Place your bets. My guess is no. OBS reckons it's sending them. 60 frames per second. I just had a glance at the stream because I got it open. I would not describe that as 60 frames per second. It's not quite as bad as 6 frames per second, but uh. I'm not super chuffed. What timestamp do we have? 40 minutes. I'll come back and see what the footage looks like in 40 minutes when I do the bot. Hmm, this looks like a task. Find this. <laughs> you can tell it's late night stream because Dizzy is yawning. Sleepy, sleepy, sleep, sleep. Now, that's why we play the chill game.
for the points you made up and your scores don't matter. Thank you, elephant. Right, I'm lurking down here. I don't really want to go down there to find an animal having shot one, even if I were to spot one. Um, that wouldn't be my favourite. I see I was awkward enough to climb once. Uh, the bay. Okay. Yeah, up here. Come at us. Oh my god, there's more health still to go. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Scaring. Oh no, scaring. Scaring. Oh, for good sake. Right. So that will scale off every animal in a two mile radius. Um. That's fine, we made it up. We can get on with. Our journey. Ugh, nice and relaxing. We're heading north east, so we're not going quite into the wind now. It's always good. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Good messy or gracious me. on my phone. I will describe the quality as not right. Um, let's see if I can turn down some settings for for the Wild.
always loath to turn down any of these settings. Um, Means. That's sort of in the middle for that, sure. I don't know what any of these means. Means? I don't know what any of these mean. I don't want that flicker. Why am I? Does this look any better? Not really. Well, it looks a little better. Okay. Um, we'll have to, to suffer that then, I guess. I think I also don't know how much of it is the game versus how much of it is uh, what I've seen referred to as quote bitrate quote, which is a little thing down in the bottom right hand corner of OBS says KB per second and has a little colour indicator between it. Right next to it. Oh hello. And he's typically red. You have the three options of red, yellow and green. that we walk right up next to a cat, as one does. Remind me to name a stream of Pussycat Pussycat I love you at some point in the future. On. You're right here. I heard you. You went. Oh. Ish. You sort of did that. It's not perfect. Oh, where did he go? Oh, don't leave me like this. Oh, curse to crush it, precious. Tricks of kitty cats. Lost him again. These cats are tough to find. Why? I think they are supposedly one of the hardest hunts in the game, which is one of the reasons why I'm sort of trying every opportunity I can to go after one. Um, I 
My reputation has seen well deserved thus far. The Eurasian lynx is pretty heckin' close to extinct. Well, I seem to be cool. Um, which is quite a feat if they're really this good at being not hunted. a series on the telly. That was a long time ago. I say a long time ago, a short time ago. <laughs> Called, uh, Are You Smarter Than a Ten Year Old? If the question is, Are You Smarter Than a Kitty Cat? The answer for me, at least, is a firm no. Oh, I felt a shiver then. I walked face first into a snowfall. This is a big old bear that's gone across. Probably a while ago. Oh. Oh, it is a bear. No brown is just the colour of bear fur, apparently. I keep forgetting that we're not dealing with, um, latent bears, we're dealing with grizzly bears. That was meant to be a dramatic um, fall to prone at the end of that, but it didn't work because I hit the wrong button. Because I'm smart.
I don't know how long I've been muted for, but oh my gosh. I hope it hasn't been long. Blimey. Uh, yeah. So that bear was having a time. So was the moose. The moose we're giving up on. Um, the bear we've taken down. Even if he also took us down. I do not like driving through these woods, not one bit. These stumps and logs are horrible. They are vicious to drive through. Oh heck. Um. That's as far as you go. Uh. uh oh. Bye. It took us not nearly all the way there. Oh, that's interesting. I've never had to manually reload a boat before. Right. We died around here. What would, of course, be extra helpful is if 
the position where you died was on the map. But because that would be helpful, they don't do it. Oh, look, well, there's a bear carcass. Blimey, O'Reilly. Right. You are a gold bear. I got an achievement, bear hug. What's that for? Harvest a brown bear with a single shot from a distance of less than 25 meters. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fur type is gold. Oh, it's excellent. Oh. What distance was that? 3.7 meters. Heart shot. Not bad. Right, let's see if we can pick up our quad and get back to um, where we left the, the, the trail before we got mauled. At least it wasn't a pig this time. God, that's quite an incline. Now, uh oh. I don't know what we hit, but that knackered our bike. Uh oh, uh oh. Ow. I hit space because I've been playing Jurassic World Evolution and space is the handbrake for the cars in that. Um... Well, the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line. And we have more or less achieved that, despite such things getting in our way as mountains and common sense. Trust you climbed over that rock on your own. Fine. Right. This is the crossroads, I guess. We want to go that way. This path takes us right past our destination, but I want to try and get eyes on it. Which I think will be from this... Um... Oh, what's it called? Lookout spot. Oh boy, well that was eventful. Uh, I'm gonna be right back guys. I feel like I can hear fireworks or something going off and I'm a bit concerned. Hmm. Hmm. Can't see anything. Oh, okay, right, headphones back on. Uh I don't know if you heard that. I can't see anything happening. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Let's chill out, de stress. Stop being killed by bears. Look at the very pretty view. The very pretty view is very pretty. Well, surprisingly, not many trees up there. If. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy. Oh, we are an hour and a quarter into this stream. We'll probably go for the usual two to three hours. If I doze off, then we may be online until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> <coughs> Imagine what a fault that would be. Imagine how upset I'd be when I woke up and found myself all the way across the map, having just auto walked in a straight line for. I don't know. Three kilometers. That's not that big. I don't actually know how big the other maps are. I feel like three kilometers isn't that much. Maybe it's just the grass rustling. It that sure sounded like footsteps. Can you hear that? I think it is just the grass. Oh boy. Even the grass is out to bamboozle them before we. I also, I kind of feel like this bit here, this bit, is some of the most geographically interesting area of this whole map, and yet it's outside the playable area. Like, at least I assume it is. But like, why, why did you do that? That looks super cool, I want to go up there. And, and down in this corner, there's a lot less going on. It looks like there's a lot of kind of impassable mountain slopes, etc. So why not just move the whole playable area, like, that far, top, up and right, up and left, even. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that is actually the playable area. I bet you can't get to that island in the middle, though. It'd be nice to see a river of actual water rather than the dizzy patent pending river of blood. <laughs> no, we'll go there. We'll try and go there at some point. Phew.
Ich hoffe, ich hoffe, ich hoffe, ich hoffe, ich hoffe, ich hoffe, ich I can't see any ich hoffe, 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 I can't go to that area. I'm assuming we will be able to get up to at least this bit of the coast. Maybe this would be playable. But like, uh, no, there's no way across this river, so this whole corner that looks really interesting and cool. Nah, can't do it. A lot of people have seen the uh, the boating mechanics and stuff that it looks like they're going to be introducing in the Angler Call of the Wild. Uh, no, sorry, they're calling it Call of the Wild the Angler. So this is the Hunter Call of the Wild, and that's Call of the Wild the Angler. I have no idea why it isn't called the Angler Call of the Wild. Go figure. Um, who needs consistent naming, right? Uh, but yeah, they, 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 there's lots of boating and stuff in there, obviously, being a fishing game. Uh, and a lot of people are hoping that they're going to use that as an opportunity to also add at least some sort of basic river crossing mechanism to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, which I know I've mentioned several times before on stream. Uh, but you know, I'd like to be able to cross water bodies a little more conveniently sometimes. Because it sure is a faff. Not we can see it. We are on a peak here, aren't we? Like it does slope off to this side. I thought initially that this was just like a ridge, and it's just high ground on this side and low ground on this side. But I think this is actually sloping down. Now that we're in a firmly new territory, I haven't seen any tracks for quite a while. It's always a shame. I'm also looking at the autogenetic. that OBS is showing me. For example, it's currently showing me Laughing Autism as an auto-generated caption. As you can imagine, that's not particularly helpful. I'm not really sure why I'm bothering. 
as if by magic golf, it says. I didn't mention golf. I didn't mention anything that sounded like golf. Like, what is it? Can it, can it not deal with my... Ooh! That sounds... Ooh, okay. That, uh... That sure is a tree! Boy! Uh, no, that really is a tree right there. Hey, what's that? That's a musk deer who we don't have a call for. Um, we do have arrows for you. You are now downwind with us, of course. How helpful. Oh wow, we've come past all of these locations. <laughs> oh, where are you, dear? I really wish I had a caller for you. Okay, got him. No, I did not get him. Oh, hello. Say no to a pig either. I should have just shot him with my gun, shouldn't I? That's what I should have done. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking the last time I tried to shoot something for 40 meters, I messed it up. So I should just shoot this one with my gun. And you know what I didn't do? Shoot this one with my gun. I'm an idiot. How many times do I have to make the same mistake? Oh, hello. This deer might be right around the corner, though. Might have accidentally gone the same way as it did. Lost the boar. That might be the boar. <coughs> yep, that was the boar. Mike, can I find the mouth this, please? Did I just see something? I feel like I'm blind and stupid.
。はい、おずばれましたよね。Oh, I really wish I could call you. Musk, dear, orange fur. Luckily, you have really bright fur that stood out. Otherwise, I never would have got you in a million years. Okay. Well, now we know he's scared off the pigs. We can investigate there. Oh, this is a new source then. Apparently. Right, good. Give this one last go just in case. Interesting that they have such poor camouflage colors these days. Yeah. Useful, but of course not useful at night when I'm using my uh, night vision technology for my new fancy hunting DLC. Oh my goodness gracious. I think the other day why it's so separate is it's very warm in here. Like it's been a very warm day. Uh, which is partly why I'm so stuffy. I've had to have the windows open. Alright, so now it's kind of a it's a very Pleasant heat, like there's a bit of warmth coming off my piece. The room itself is warm, and it's just. <sighs> it really makes you want to sleep. Over this cliff, just in case there's anything I can see. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's okay. It was a good view. Does that sound like the we've got footsteps in this again? Oh, 
I mean, it doesn't sound like footsteps in the game, because the, in the game footsteps have a very distinct sound. But it sounds like actual footsteps that might be made. So it trips me up. Oh, there's a little phantom tree over there. Not terribly happy about them, to be honest. Look, there's another one. What time is that at? 1 minute 34. How bizarre. They move with the wind like the normal tree models do. How utterly weird. Because you can't see them when you zoomed in, I can't really tell, like, where they are. I feel like they don't parallax properly. Like, can I walk up to one of these? Can they get bigger as I get closer? Yes, they definitely do. You're going to have to wait a sec, sorry. I want to investigate this phantom tree for now. Oh, I just saw a new colour that I've never seen before. On my OBS kilobits per second, sort of an odd light. It's really hard to see now. It's just sort of fading out of the distance. I can only see it because I can see... The lines of a fake text, and then it's gone. How weird! How weird! What's up with that? I want answers. I want to know what's going on. Now, I am going to go into the run Because I'm going to want it to get up these steps. Doesn't look safe. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, there's an upper level? <gasps> you can get on top? There's binoculars? <sighs> Are they going to get down here safely? No. No, ow. <clears throat> This demise was defeated by gravity, apparently. Oh, I really don't like this. This animation. It's very uncomfortable looking. Oh god, okay. We'll go all the way back, I guess. Alright. Take three. Falling down. Hello, treehouse. Still don't know why you exist.
Hello train. Oh, struggling on the hill. That's just drop ins. I love the roar the engine makes on these slight downhill slopes when you really get some speed behind you. Oh, another phantom tree. Oh, that stopped dead. Right, up we go, let's actually get the observation point this time, not fall off, you know, what we were supposed to do before, we we'll end up quad biking up this track for the fourth time maybe, <laughs> oh god. Survey, hooray, oh my goodness. All that for 100 XP. Um, well, we didn't even get a cool little uh, intro bit. Okay, there is a spawn point. That's definitely where we want to go. Uh, actually, where I want to go is here. I want to go down the hillside. What's that, I think? Cut out this whole big swathe of track. Why ah. did the stairs come kind of in the middle of this bit? There's no... Like, some of them have, like, really nice enclosed areas that look kind of warm, you can have a sit down, I mean, not warm warm, but like, out of the wind. Not in Siberia, no, coldest places of all, just like, yeah, big open sides, big open front, go stand up on the roof, look out through the binoculars when you fancy it. Oh, you fay. You know what that is, don't you? Daft. As my friend Nick would say, daft. Oh, 
<sighs> well, we did find out about those invisible trees. Phantom trees, whatever it is I'm calling them. It seems to me, it's because it, it feels like this is the whole map, like just this bit. And then you zoom out and there's actually all this stuff over here, which is really, really awkward to get to. Like, there's only going to be these two piles up the mountain here, and that's probably it. Uh, it's horrible terrain. And, like, I'm coming down the mountain here, but I don't believe for a second I would be able to get back up this way and do it in reverse. I might also die coming down here. Depends how steep it gets. But, well, it wouldn't be the first time. If I do that here, I can spawn here and go across to there, along the top. Although that's going into the window. It's best I try and do it this way. You would absolutely not be able to convince me to come down here in real life. This incline, these rocks, covered in snow, absolutely make breaking territory. Make no mistake. Right, this is our third life. Third time, they say, is charm. Let's hope that we don't die horribly. For now, we've got to survive another hour and a quarter <laughs> without dying. Do we think we can do that? Yes, yes, definitely. I know I keep looking here, because there's not really very much else to look in terms of directions. Like, although we're up high, everything is obscured by forest. This whole ruddy map is obscured by forest. Hence, why the River of Death became the River of Death, of blood even, the River of Blood. It's important to get these things right. Perhaps someday there should be some other river that should be the river of death.
Right, half a kilometre left. Then we'll go along, we might get this. Yes. Oh, I've just realised we're going to be going into the wind for that again. Oh, that's the grass again. Playing tricks. Playing tricks. I will eventually wise up. But not yet. Oh, I just realised I haven't turned the volume up for you guys since I got off my bike. There we go, have some volume. You know, I like to hear my footsteps, the nice tweeting of birds. A little bit of wind and grass. A little bit of the Hunter ASM. I'm supposed to be going around here? Maybe I should come up with stories to fill the time while we walk on our long walks in the call of the wild. Maybe I'll work on that for next time. I'll have a little bedtime story ready to read to all of you. Even if I'm the one who's principally falling asleep. Uh. I could try an improv story tell. I have tried it before. I've done like a workshop on it and stuff. I told the story about a starfish who ended up, I think, putting on like a like an inverse wetsuit and climbing out onto the land. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what. He was like a scientist. He might have got captured by the humans once he got out on land, but I can't remember why he went out on land. And as stories go, it wasn't the most compelling thing I ever told. Let us be 100% honest.
You said I can just yawn and every time I yawn, know that everyone who's listening to this will also be yawning. Because that's how yawning works. And the more I talk about yawning, the more everyone at home will yawn. And the more I will yawn, causing everyone at home to yawn. What the hell was that? That was a rain there. Hello. Uh, um, bald heads. No more bald heads. Full 20. Oh, full 20. This is going to be our first hunt in probably 20 minutes of content. Wouldn't that be exciting? It's not gone far though, has it? So I'm class six. Dang. Okay. Very nice. Exactly what we want. Two heart shots. One female. What we need. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're slightly better. Male, silver, light brown. Very nice. There we go. Was that worth the 20 minutes? I hope so. Ah, oh, Chekorovka. No, never mind. I'm thinking of Prokhorovka. It's somewhere different. Prokhorovka is a place where there was... An important battle in, I think, World War Two, if memory serves. Um, as always, Google is our friend for these things. Prokhorovka, Belgrade Oblast. Prokhorovka is an urban locality. Brackets, a settlement. Wikipedia, you never cease to amaze me. The administrative centre of Prokhorovsky District, Belgrade Oblast. Russia, along the Sile River, southeast of the city of Kursk.
In the summer of 1943, Prokhorovka was the site of the Battle of Prokhorovka, a major armoured confrontation during the Battle of Kursk of World War II. In July 2013, something something, Prime Minister Museum, blah 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 display of... Okay, it doesn't really tell you very much about the battle in this article, but there is a bat an article on the battle itself. Battle of The Battle of Prokhorovka was fought on 12th July 43 near Prokhorovka. Taking place on the Eastern Front, the engagement was a part of the wider Battle of Kursk. It occurred when the 5th Guards Tank Army of the Soviets attacked the 2nd SS Panzer Corps of the German Waffen SS in one of the largest tank battles in military history. That's an impressive claim. But there's a very detailed entry on it. Planning. Oh my god, I feel like I've scrolled through several pages and I've only just got to planning. Battle. Ground engagement. And several pages. Results. By the end, Leave Standarte still held Hill 252.2. I've also lost which way I was going towards this moose. But to be fair, the moose doesn't seem to be here anyway. That's a very pretty reflection. To its uh, but have been exhausted by the effort of turning back five Soviet tank units. To its left, Totenkopf has succeeded in capturing Hill 226.6. And advanced along the northern bank of the Quit Psel River to reach the Kartashevka Prokhorovka Road, eight kilometers northwest of Prokhorovka. It was in position to outflank the Soviets, but was under pressure from Soviet attacks. Its hold on the forward ground was tenuous. Oh my god, I actually found that loose. Click the on the big arrows. Right, I'm not going to be silly and engage it from 40 meters this time. I'm going to get up to like 20 meters and then shoot it. Early. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Okay. Oh, my God, I hit the tree. Bloody tree hitbox. Was that a good hit? Yeah. So that's the tree's hitbox. About which I'm not chuffed. That was a bad hit. It was a real bad hit. Right, we're going to assume. But without an organ hit, oh my god. Oh, I didn't get well off. 
No, nope, I've lost them now. Two moves I could put arrows into and not killed. Blast, 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 blast. I would have had you if it weren't for the tree. I thought I was well clear of the tree, to be honest. I, mean, I was well clear of the tree. It was like half a foot away, at least. Uh, okay, right, well, you're not going to die. And I'm not going to bother chasing you. So, you're just going to have to walk it off. If you die, I at least have your blood splat not so I can track you from it. God's darn it, if I change the right weapon, panic it, I might have still got it. It's a big old ice flow. I wonder if anyone goes up there. Like jump, 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 jump. I was telling to spot something in. So I have to get all excited. Grump, 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 Bloody wind is going north. It's going east by northeast. Means I'm not technically heading into it as long as I go due east or slightly southeast. So I could theoretically get to here while only being mostly into the wind to the entire wind. However, it's not ideal, is it? Maybe we should go back and look for Jumper. We cleared away a bit of the. Uh, Stuff. As long as we unlock this, we'll, we'll go to the bumper. I'm sure as soon as we do, the wind will turn back and blow west because it's been blowing east all game. Means it's probably over to you. Oh, is that a big old cave? No, I think that's just a shadow. Probably over to you returning. Back in Gunther. Let's hang on. Do that so I can. What?
Oh, this is the, the whole area. That's what I remember. Most definitely didn't die. Rush. Done. <laughs> oh, another tree house. This time with a lovely red roof. Boy, that is fetching. Even the icebergs are kind of ting. Icebergs? Icicles are kind of tinged with pink in a pleasing manner. Claim the name of the hundred acre wood. We claim it in the name of the hundred acre wood. Let's have a look inside. Oh, lovely bed. Oh, stove's on. Oh, that's very nice. Lovely. I feel like this is here for something, because it appears when you claim the place, but I've got no idea what it's for. It's in every one of them. You can't interact with it in any way. But there's always one of them here. Hi, I want to come up. Hello, I can jump high. Oh, do you think you could jump high enough to look on top of a shipping container? I don't. Jeesh. Right. That's off we pop. Fast travel. Amazingly, we still haven't managed to actually clear all of this hunting flesh out of all of the river of blood. Which goes to show just how much of a blimey that is a gorgeous screenshot. Goes yeah, so just how much of a river of blood the river of blood was. There's a reindeer mating call somewhere eight thousand miles away. Phew. What time? 2 hours 13. They haven't died yet. They haven't died for a whole half hour. Hmm, I'm looking at the captions and I actually see... I hope the light has changed. They actually seem vaguely decent. Which I'm sure isn't going to last. For example, of that whole sentence... It managed to pick up lost and then decided afterwards that it was actually lost. <sighs> Maybe it's like a quantum thing. Maybe if I don't look at the captions, they'll be better quality. Wait, is the River of Blood that one really racist speech? Oh god it is. Oh no. Okay. River of Death. We shall call it the River of Death. For those not in the know, also from Wikipedia, the Rose of Blood speech was made by British Member of Parliament Enoch Powell on 20th of April 1968 to meet in the Conservative Political Centre in Birmingham, United Kingdom. The speech strongly criticised mass immigration, especially Commonwealth immigration, to the UK and the proposed Race Relations Bill. It became known as the Rivers of Blood speech, although Powell always referred to it as the Birmingham speech. Yeah. We might, we might need it. I mean, Enoch Powell doesn't own the copyright on the term River of Blood. I'm sure if I Google River of Blood, I'll find other things than just Enoch Powell being racist. Oh, 
feel like I saw a big lump on the horizon there. I'm in some weeds. There's a river of blood in Elden Ring. I did see a large lump. It was a rock. <laughs> Good job using your eyes there, Dizzy. I saw them bodies out there. So faintly disturbing. There's a river of blood in RuneScape. It's the ninth and final quest in the Marek quest series. Okay, we can call it RuneScape. Fine. River of Blood reinstated after brief hiatus. Ooh, Siberian River becomes latest victim of woke cancel culture. <laughs> Has political correctness gone too far? It's a hunting game. It's a hunting game. Um, although it's actually a fairly politically correct hunting game. Like the developers have said they want to promote like ethical hunting, etc. That's why you have your uh, ethics check or hunting check. It's called ethics check. That's why they don't have elephants in the game. So actually. I retract my previous comment. Maybe I'll walk backwards a bit. Oh, I forgot that there's my footsteps. Oh, that's very exciting. Oh, my footsteps face back the way I've come. Oh. That's a neat little detail. I probably wouldn't have thought of that if I was programming. Oh, hello. Who's the... <gasps> Pigu! Pigu. 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 What range, Pigu? 200 meter Pigu. Did I hit Pigu? Maybe. We'll find out later. If I hit the piggy. I think I may have not aimed high. I did hit the piggy! No. Maybe? I might have hit the piggy. I hit the piggy. If I run towards all these wild boar, are they going to charge me and kill me? There's a strong possibility, isn't there? Right, we'll come back for you, Pigu. Oh, will we though? Oh dear. I don't want to die. I've already got lots of hunting pressure here. That was accidentally right on top of some of my old hunting pressure. Exactly the wrong direction. Izzy, why do you do this to yourself? This piggy is, is is a brave piggy. There we go. Good piggy. Run off. Good piggy. There we go. Don't need any more blood on this river. Why is it called the blood speech? Does he talk about a river? 
There are expression rivers of blood that not appear in this page. Literally the next paragraph on Wikipedia. See, they know where it's at. Is an allusion to a line from Verbus Inia which he quoted. He quoted As I look ahead I'm filled with the burning like foam and I seem to see the river tide of foaming with much blood. I see. Why am I on it? Why was I walking? I know there's nothing nearby because I fired my gun. That will have scared everything off, although it actually didn't scare the pigeons that very much. Yeah, yeah, you can warn call. I know you're there. It's okay. is pretty close. They're kind of hanging around. Right, okay, collect pig. We've gone almost as far away as we were when we started. Will we ever find Gunther? Or will Dizzy spend forever walking back and forth across this river shooting animals? <laughs> We've got half an hour to make it 400 meters. <laughs> Come on, Dizzy, you could do this. I promise. No, 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 no. Confirm trophy. Your color is brown. Uh, that bullet doesn't really look like it's in his lung, but apparently it is lung. Excellent. That wasn't the pig I was aiming for. I was aiming for one of the level 3 pigs. How did I... How... How did I shoot the wrong pig? I don't understand. I don't understand. How did I shoot the wrong pig? I think the river chooses its victims, not me. Well, I checked that that moose hadn't died in the interim. What is this? That's what, oh, that's why I last spotted the world war. No, no, we're not getting distracted. There's been too much bloodshed here. We're gonna find Gunther. And Gunther has also been blasting animals off of this river. <laughs> but by golly, we're gonna find him. Oh no. What a disaster. What a total disaster. If I get to about here, this halfway point, that will be about when we can start shooting things again. <laughs> That's gracious. Oh my goodness gracious me. Right, so before he was on this lake, I think. And he was aiming for base camp. Now I don't know where base camp is. I wouldn't be surprised if it was near where I started over here. I don't know where it is. He's managed to wind up on the river. There is nothing over in this direction. This is the worst possible direction for him to have gone in. Truly, it is. Okay. Down to the just stick down. We're getting there. We're getting there. 609. We might be tracking Gunther in the dark. I'm sure that grisly scene on the ice won't be any 
more palatable at night. May even be worse. Like that reindeer that was there was like half half dead. Oh no, busy dark or chasing reindeer. Such a bad idea. It'll drag you off course. You're so close, Dizzy. No, where are you going? Why do you do this to yourself? Sir. Right, I'm fairly sure he did actually run past me. Apparently, it was a really bad shot. It was not the right arrow, but I went for him. I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a reindeer out of this. Straight through the heart, bang. Yeah, I forgot I needed that for a quest. Wasn't even doing that for a quest. Mm -hmm. well, then. Oh, I'm too close. I'm too close. Just leave it. Just leave it. Oh, the other reindeer did die. God damn it. You can see it's gone from one blur to two. Oh my god. Oh, hey, there's a lead zone over here, though. Is this the reindeer trap? Okay. Oh, I never, ever, 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 ever. We're gonna get this quest. We're gonna be stuck here for twelve more streams. Have brown bear problems at Lebianoi Le Bay. Too many bear overgrazed land. I am Russian in video games, so I speak like this.
Right. We found the food zone. We got this guy. Who now? Oh, I'm still using the wrong ammo. God damn it. I had the opportunity to switch that and I didn't. Like a fool. Cross me. And there is our reindeer bottle. Right, we've made net progress from where we killed the boar, at least. Because that was 400 meters away, this is only going to be 300 and a bit meters away. <laughs> we are very, very slowly, like getting blood from a stone, we are eking our way towards Gunther. We will only stop when we've slaughtered every animal in a four mile radius. But that's fine, because so will Gunther. Um... You actually didn't get very far. I was expecting you to get a lot further. Oh, I hit you too low. Oh. That's a shame. What ammo type do I have on at the moment? I've got my 420 gram ones on. Well, did I take them off? Was it for the moose? I think it was for the moose. Okay, Gunther. What? Laser focus. Laser, laser focus? On Gunther? He's downwind, he'll never come for you. We've killed like three reindeer. He's not gonna care about your caller, he's so spooked. You would be forgiven for thinking that this commentary was 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 being done by somebody who was not in control of the mouse. I was not in charge of what you are seeing on screen, but I assure you it is. <laughs> yeah, this reindeer might be too canny. And that's a good thing. We have devastated this herd enough. This wilderness. There's only three members of this herd left. He's also getting late pretty rapidly. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Wise. Well, how much do you weigh? The last track you picked up had an upper range limit of 182. You look fairly impressive. Ooh, there's a rest zone up ahead. You are that same one.
it is about time to switch to night mode. I think that canny reindeer has actually fled. But he came bloody close. If we'd had another couple more seconds, we might have had him. Is there some night vision? Might be a bit bright for not to get up. It's definitely a bit dark. The regular. Well, it's not quite, but it's going to be imminent. Okay, 190 meters. This is the closest we've been today. Use of the cleaning again. Oh, what's this? New structures. Are they patched out tracks showing up at night in the night vision? No, they still do, they're just not as visible. Okay. Oh, sorry, but so they don't have the little the glowy stuff above them. Ah, yes, there was a patch to to this. It was the patch to coincide with the release of. The new reserve revenue to the coast, which is set maybe in Canada? Question mark? Um, not quite sure where it's at. I don't remember how to find out. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting reserve because all of the land animals in it, there's not that many and they're all duplicates, they're things you find somewhere else. Um, but it's notable for having a bunch of new birds to hunt, which it's nice that they're trying something different. Personally, I have yet to find the birds enormously interesting to hunt on the maps I've played. Actually, play the thing, please. I don't think it's- oh my god, they're pigs. They're piggies. Oh, they smelt me. Oh no. Should have gone for the proper gun. Oh no, it's not that big. Let's use the proper gun. Gosh darn you pig with your good noses. Pigs, of course, have eggs on noses. I could chase them. We're so close, though. I could chase them. We're, we're 75 meters away, but I want to chase the pigs. Get Gunther, okay? There will be more pigs, but Gunther will wait forever. But more. We're getting Gunther. We're getting Gunther. We've, we've prevaricated too long, too long, and the pigs are miles away. We're going for Gunther. Oh, well, there are the floaty bits above them. Weird. It's a shame about this pig, so I would have liked to get the pig. I took a gamble on that shape I saw being uh, lost. Uh, which is a bit rough, but. Every animal in this place that has a caller has a different caller to every other animal.
because we've got Bear Caller, Lynx Caller, Reindeer Caller, Moose Caller, Boar Caller. Oh my god, I thought that was an animal. Jesus Christ. It just loomed up out of the darkness that thing. Holy Flavoli. Right, I assume these are the only the tracks I need to follow. Not yet leading to that camp, but I guess we're going down here. Those look like Gunther's boot prints. Let's find him. Oh, I missed your voice. Oh, okay. We turn purple one at a time. Not sure how I feel about that. I mean, it it would be a much more interesting way for animal tracks to work if they were like this. You'd have to have some way of like fixing. No, nope, okay, we just can't examine that one apparently. You'd have to have some way of fixing an animal as you're one you're trying to track. And you could examine each individual track as you went along and see if it matched. Oh yeah, we are properly in right now, aren't we? To the river, the river of blood. This must be the river where Gunther found that mask deer. Looks like his tracks follow the riverbank, probably to collect the mask deer meat. I hope this isn't a dead end. Sorry, poor choice of words. Gunther isn't the only one desperate for a meal out here. The rivers flooded during the warmest spring on record last year. Then out of nowhere, the temperature dropped, and in a flash, the rivers froze early. It's too bad bears can't ice fish. Huh. All right, I guess we've got to go to, to this pile of, of meat, probably. Oh, well, so maybe it was bears who left this behind. Right, into the rushes. They look super low res in the, the harsh torchlight way. Bad, 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 very bad. There is no blood, no wounds, which means this musk deer probably died from disease or poison. If this is where Gunther was shopping for meat, he's in worse trouble than we thought. Oh. Okay. So why have they all died in the same place? Well, the river of blood is currently quite clear. Can't help. I've got just got the snagging feeling. I should have chased the pigs. Should have chased the pigs. Do you have any comment on why there's loads of them? Oh, that's your other foot. I see. Exactly like this. Don't freak out, but that time it was anthrax. You should be safe as long as the temperature stays below zero. 
You don't touch these dead animals, and you don't eat the snow. That Durak Gunther probably made all these mistakes. Oh my god, okay. The animals have died of anthrax poison. Well, that took a turn. That was there a twist. Are footprints to follow. My stomach is sinking just thinking about what you'll encounter at the end of the trail. Be careful. Oh dear. So we might find an anthraxed up Gunther. Hold on to your horses, chat, and prepare for the worst. Also, prepare for me to sneeze. Hang on. Ah, excuse me. Blimey. Goodness gracious me. Ah. Oh. Apparently I'm allergic to anthrax, who knew? Oh god. That tent belonged to Gunther. Can you read the note he left? I saw that shoe and thought, oh my god, that's connected to the rest of the Gunther. Luckily, I think it is just a, a shoe. Jesus. Uh, GB log, day two, breath equals painful, chest on fire, burning hot plus freezing cold equals more fever, more dead deer, camp recover, day three, reindeer rot equals meat bad, meat equals murder, can't breathe, day four, Help M. Oh my god. Jesus. Well, this is a punch in the gut. Damn. Gunther ate contaminated musk deer and died with symptoms that are associated with anthrax. Rest in peace, Gunther. Wait, do we know so, he's dead? I promise the rest of this expedition will not be so grotesque, is the word there? I spoke with Pushkin over at the federal department. A hazmat team is en route to clean up that riverbank as soon as the weather permits. Oh my god. I never expected that they'd actually there kill him. There are water monitoring sites scattered throughout this region. Our biologist, Anatoly Barnyashev, wants you to check on those to make sure this anthrax contamination Jesus. didn't spread. The areas where you will find these sites are marked on your hunter mate. So is this supposed to be Gunther's body? Jesus. Oh my god. Uh. <clears throat> I'm 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 at a loss. I damn he just straight up died. Right. I I guess that's where we're going to end it for today. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Shocking twist at the end there. Not much can render Dizzy speechless. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Please consider giving me a follow if you want to find out what happens next. I thought we were going to have a lot more Gunther story to follow up on. But I guess not. Anthrax, huh? That. Bye, y'all.